Yeah, this is a really promising breakthrough. Uh, we know that uh, what's really needed most by people living with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative conditions is something to stop the progression of the condition at the early stage, as we heard Dr. Malucci mention. So this is extremely important. The fact that this is a repurposable drug has been identified means it could save many, many years off the normal 10 years or longer we hear when we when we learn about a new breakthrough for, for a treatment of a disease. So this could bring a real impactful treatment earlier to millions of people. Just tell us how, in your understanding, it it could work, because the clinical trials on humans have not yet been done, obviously. Right. So the fact that they've identified some some drugs which are already in use means many years are shaved off the process. We don't have to learn how to make it, how to make it safely. We we know about side effects. This is all a, a big advance. Uh, There is an interesting issue then, though, if the drug is an existing one, if it's off patent, that means that it may be hard to find a company who will be willing to invest in the trials. In fact, usually there will not be one. And this is actually where charities like Parkinson's UK and Alzheimer's Research UK can really step in because we are the ones who can raise money from our supporters who understand how important it is to develop and pay for the really high quality clinical trials that are necessary to establish for exactly which patients, at exactly which dose, is this the right treatment, and, and what are the side effects, if any. So very important. You heard uh, Joy Watson, who suffers from Alzheimer's there. She talks about cautious optimism. I mean, I suppose there is that major, profound issue of not letting people down, potentially raising hopes too quickly. Right, right. It's a difficult balance, isn't it? I mean, people do want hope from research, and we think research does bring them hope. I think in the Parkinson's field, it's been very clear that research over the past decade has brought some really effective treatments forward. So it has taken time, but they have been results that have been very impactful, really transformed people's lives for the first five or 10 years. But because the condition is progressing, that's just not enough. So these new treatments that can be given earlier, potentially, and stop things are, are extremely important. And, and people with Parkinson's and Alzheimer's do want to believe that might be there someday. Um, the disease societies are there to help them uh, make that possible. And just very briefly, I suppose the key is always early diagnosis. That will be very important, exactly. And, and technology now is, is allowing us to go back further and further in the diagnosis. Now, if one has enough uh, technology around, one can often identify people at the risk for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's before they are symptomatic, even before they show any signs. That would be the kind of uh, stage you'd like to intervene with a good treatment that, that stops progression.